Hey, what's up guys? Jack and Matty with the Toasty Bros. And today we bring you a $750 full gaming setup. And yeah, it's gonna be awesome because it features this $500 PC we just did a build guide on featuring a 1070 and i3-10100 that you can build today. And uh, yeah, you can get the rest of the stuff to make an awesome full gaming setup. Before we dive into all the parts of this setup, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Moonside and their Neon Lighthouse, which delivers some of the coolest RGB smart lighting we have seen here at the Toasty Bros. With tons of lighting effects and easy smartphone control, this smart RGB light bar creates dynamic lighting modes that really change up the environment it's placed in. It also comes in multiple colors, like silver, black, and pink to name a few. You can even save some money when bundling multiple lighthouses together to upgrade your gaming or office setup. To learn more about Moonside and the Neon Lighthouse and all their other RGB products, definitely check the link down below. And special thanks again to them for sponsoring today's video. So how will full gaming setup work? is basically includes the keyboard, the mouse pad, the mouse, the monitor, the headset, and then a full working computer, which we always will do a separate video of first typically, and also all of the cables needed. Now, what it does not include is the desk, and it doesn't include a chair because those are things that we think are very subjective because, well, you could use your kitchen table at home and you could use a beanbag chair for all we care. As long as you are happy and you're gaming, you're good to go. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is go over this PC for those who haven't seen the video, but once again, definitely check out that video if you wanna learn more about this computer, and then go over the peripherals that make up this $750 setup and play some games as good as we can. So this gaming PC right here, we built for $500 and I was just absolutely blown away by their performance. I was playing Apex Legends at high settings, like ultra maxed out using all of the VRAM on this card even. And I was getting like 60 to 120 FPS. It was absolutely insane to me. 1080p, any game you throw at it, AAA title even. This thing will definitely play it. So Warzone, Vanguard, Battlefield, you'll be able to play all of those games. And uh, sometimes you might have to go like medium settings because it's 500 bucks. So what do you expect? I was just blown away that this thing did as much as it did. And we have an i3 10100 f4 core a thread we have 16 gigs of xpg 3200 megahertz ddr4 ram dual channel and then we have a founders gtx 1070 that's 8 gigs of vram it's gddr5 they're up to gddr6 but we haven't really noticed a major difference between the two so of course awesome card has five display outs we also have a Pretty decent B560M DS3H V2, which is upgradable. It could go up to an 11 Gen i7, has Gen 4 support, so you could add in a Gen 4 SSD. And speaking of SSD, underneath the GPU here, I can kind of see it. We have a PNY CS1030, which is a 500 gig NVMe SSD. It's Gen 3, but it's very fast. And then we have an EVGA 500 GD, which as you can see, 80 plus gold. It's not modular, but it's basically EVGA's like start of the gold power supplies. I think they're pretty decently rated, like maybe C or B tier. We definitely trust them, never had any problems with them. And everything is inside of the Antec D P301M, which is a really nice case. Got a lot of airflow up front. We actually matched this little RGB strip to yellow because it matches the card pretty well. And yeah, decent airflow. Overall, pretty good case. Tempered side glass that isn't on right now. But yeah, like I said, I'm just astonished with how well this build does. And now Matt's gonna talk about these peripherals. Peripherals! What in the hell is this? All right, guys, first up, the monitor. We have a Viotech monitor, which is a very tiny monitor, as you can see. This is a 22 inch monitor, but the best part is it is 1080p, 144 hertz, and the exact model number is the GFV22CB, and it's 140 bucks. Yes, you can spend like $20 more and get like a 24 inch or maybe even 27 inch monitor, but this is the cheapest 144 hertz monitor I could find and we were trying to make a budget setup around a $500 PC had to give it a shot and uh, Biotech's a brand we used a lot and we've been pretty happy with it now let's talk about all this stuff right here we have the mage key or maggie or whatever you want to call it keyboard this has red switches I'm looking at my notes here hmm, these percent. LEDs are going crazy uh, the LEDs on the going camera. crazy on camera oh, yeah. yeah so some of the LEDs have different like frequencies than the uh, camera could pick up so it looks like it's flickering really bad but in person it's not I swear it is a 75% keyboard with a red switch which I don't know if it has a name on it here uh, uh, it just says X. I just see a bunch of X's. I'm pulling back before we give people seizures. I, I, I think that's poisonous. <laughs> that's kind of scary, a bunch of X's. But yeah, it's just a 75% uh, board with red switches. Linear switches are the best for gaming, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, very compact and uh, it won't strobe like this in person, I swear. Now this right here is an interesting gaming mouse. This is the LTC Circle Pit HM001 gaming mouse and it is 20 buckaroos. Yeah, it has RGB built in. Um, it has this honeycomb design, but I'll be honest with you, it's not 
super lightweight because of all the RGB that's in here. It does feel a little bit cheaper, but then again, you're paying $20 for this mouse. There are other mites on the market you can spend a little bit of money on and get some better build quality, but I actually think it's pretty good for the money and uh, Circle Pit. I don't really know what that really means, but it's the LTC Circle Pit. So we're gonna run with that Ooh. and uh, see how it performs in gaming. And all these peripherals are sitting on top of this desk mat right here, which the exact listing is called the Black and White Japanese Wave Sea Dragon Mouse Pad. I think it describes exactly <laughs> what's happening right here. That's all you have to know. And uh, of course we gotta hear the audio in game. So what we have right here is a Logitech G33.5 gaming headset that has this very unique like headband looking like head strap. I'm gonna see how comfortable it is. Nice. Is it's it pretty, pretty comfortable. I actually <laughs> spent more money on this than I normally would because everything else is like 20 bucks. Normally I'd spend like 20 bucks on this, but this was like $40, but it's really lightweight. Logitech's a good brand and you're gonna have a microphone that you can use to talk to your buddies on Discord or scream on <laughs> or Twitch your kittens. or, or your, your, your little kittens, <laughs> meow. Um, you could do that if you want to, but um, yeah, this is the setup. Why don't we stop wasting time <laughs> and stop messing up these recordings and play some games, I do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are playing some good old Halo Infinite. And man, this is a fun game, but it is also a pretty demanding game. Look at me just pre, pre doing everything. And this, yeah, this mouse game really taking me some getting used to. I need to lower the sense sensitivity some more. You know what it is? The FOV is not turned up too. FOV is. Because I yeah. feel like I'm really slow, but I think it's because normally we used to have the FOV like all the way. And then we're on medium settings. Oh, 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 oh. That would have How been. do I? Oh, ooh, oh, last shot. Did not know how to melee. Yeah, we're looking pretty good. We're getting uh, a little above 60 FPS at uh, medium settings. So realistically, you know, we are playing kind of competitively right now. So you probably want to run this thing um, on like a lower um, setting, like maybe low settings to better get a little bit more, more fluent FPS. But, you know, it's not the end of the world. I'd rather have the game look really good, which it really does. Halo did great with their graphics on this game. So definitely going to utilize this good looking monitor for that. He's gonna run a rampage. Here we go. He's running a train, guys. <laughs> no, oh, he hit me from behind. The caboose fell off. And now oh. he's stealing my life. Oh. Wow. That was fun, I guess. I would have rather have won, but you know, it's whatever. But the it's performance whatever. was good. Not too it did. shabby. It did perform well. Next game. All right, guys, no cap. This is the realest game you'll ever see. Like, this is true to life. This is Fortnite. And we're playing on performance mode. Yeah, when we tested this PC, we obviously tested Fortnite because you guys, you know, you fiend for your Fortnite. And this is the third time I played Fortnite today, so hopefully I don't die instantly. But um, yeah, 100 plus FPS. This is what this monitor is great for. High refresh rate, get a smooth esports gaming experience. Same thing we go for a game like Valorant or CSGO or any other esports game. You should have a pretty good high FPS experience with this setup. This game reminds me of Battlefield. Realism and destruction. If you're still playing Warzone and you haven't switched to Fortnite, you should really give it a try. Fortnite's a new game. Up and coming indie company. Uh oh! You're done, Mad Dog. Are you mad, bro? But uh, yeah, look at the FPS numbers. I almost died by Mad Dog, but you know what? I stayed alive because that is the name of the game, staying alive. Let's see if I can find the health so I don't have to, you know, be done. I can actually keep gaming, gamers. Oh, here we go. Let's get some meds. Hey guys, while I'm doing this, you know, I want, I want to do a little, little secret, secret thing here. You know, if you've made it this far in this video, I want you to comment banana in the comment section down below. Who is shooting at me? Why am I, oh, 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 oh. Oh, wow. They were a one hit and I missed all those shots. Oh, no. Where'd that person go? Oh. Uh! Whoa, whoa! Oh, that's a wolf. Where the hell? Whoa! I can't see him! The wolf's after me! Oh, I'm gonna eat this raw meat and then we're gonna switch games because I've had enough of Fortnite today. All right, guys, we are playing Battlefield 5 and we're on pretty much all medium settings. Setting, set, set, settings. 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 And we're gonna see what we can do here. We're gonna try to get some snipes. Um, definitely playing on all new stuff, so I'm gonna have to get used to it, but I think I can do it. Or we're gonna we run. We're gonna yeah, charge into battle. Later. How do I battle cry? We're moving in. This is a very contested point, guys. This could be life or death. This could be the end. Whatever we just do. Oh, there is a tank on top. Okay, wow. 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 Oh. All right, we're really moving up here. A little bit, a little bit worried there could be people off to the side. Teammate over here is like. That'd be a redemption shot. Come on. Come on. The zeroing is not there. Oh, there. dude, he's he's looking back. There's two people up there. Oh. Oh. Has, was he there the whole time? He's probably no watching. Way. He's like, mm, that's oh, he's good. going in. He's going in. 
There's actually a guy just laying there. I don't really hear anything either, so I never know what's going to happen to me. I see an enemy vehicle driving there. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, man. And I want this tank to see the, the sniper glint. Oh! Aww. All right, okay. Can I hit this guy's feet? Oh, <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oh, you it just got taken out. Oh, oh, well, there it goes. All right, guys, that was Battlefield. So, yeah, that those are the games we're going to be testing on this setup. Performs great for the money. Let's just go ahead and wrap this video up real quick. All right, guys, we just got done testing out this full gaming setup, and it worked pretty well. I actually had a good time playing. My only real, I guess, takeaway, like, negative comment would probably be the mouse isn't the nicest. I mean, I would spend extra, like... 20 bucks and get like an actual lightweight mouse or get a name brand one, but it wasn't terrible. I mean, for $20, you get RGB, it's not super heavy. And one thing I did like is when you lift it up, the sensor doesn't follow like some cheap mice do. So yeah, if you wanna buy any of the stuff from this setup, including the PC, check the links down below. They will be affiliate links and will help us out. Let us know what budget you wanna see us do next. Or maybe if there's a specific retailer you'd like us to build a setup from, let us know down below. We'll be happy to consider it for a future video. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toasty bros and do not forget to like comment and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one goodbye now if you guys want to actually buy this full setup or a full setup like it or just a gaming computer you should check out pcbros.tech pcbros.tech is where we sell gaming pcs gaming laptops and so much more and if you use code toasty bros 2 on checkout save two percent on your next purchase see you guys later goodbye peace out girl scout Ugh.